This space-age electric truck, known as the Tesla Cybertruck, has been sighted testing quite a few times by now, and production of it is soon to begin. The new Tesla Cybertruck was made public during the Investor Day on March 1st, and it has since been seen testing in several locations throughout California. The Tesla Cybertruck, which was unveiled in November 2019, has been one of the most anticipated pickup truck and EV models in the US for more than three years. Millions of potential buyers have expressed interest in the unconventional electric pickup truck, which is eventually scheduled to go on sale in 2023 after numerous delays. But, what's new for the 2023 Cybertruck? Do we still need a Cybertruck? Will it still be worth it? Stay tuned, as we're going to share everything we know so far about this all-new Cybertruck due by the end of the year. In preparation for the commencement of production later this summer, Tesla is setting up the Cybertruck assembly line at Giga Texas. The IDRA Giga press machines that would cast the single-piece mega castings of the Cybertruck appear to be the most crucial component. Recent discoveries indicate that a second one will be shipped soon, and one is already installed in Austin. As the first automaker to use die-cast components known as mega castings to replace substantial portions of the body of the vehicle, Tesla. Mega casting eliminates the requirement for countless labor hours and the countless metal components that must be joined by welding in the process of making a standard automobile. The structural battery pack and the side body stamps are joined to the mega castings, which is a faster method of assembly because it uses largely adhesives. Mega castings were initially used in an automobile, the Tesla Model Y, and will likely be followed by the Cybertruck. Although the mega castings seem simple, they are everything but. Massive die casting equipment known as Giga Presses are needed to produce such large automotive body pieces. The industry innovator and Tesla's go to supplier is an Italian business called IDRA. In its plants all across the world, the EV manufacturer produces the Model Y using dozens of 6,000 ton Giga Presses. The 9,000 ton Giga Presses were ordered for Giga Austin because Tesla said it needed larger equipment for the production of the Cybertruck. It was previously reported that Tesla plans to install two 9,000-ton Giga presses for the Cybertruck production. IDRA shipped the first one to Austin in October of last year. As evidenced by shipping documentation discovered by Greg, at Gregatruck, the second one is currently being sent. We know Tesla has already sent the molds for the Giga presses to Austin because Greg has already stumbled onto paperwork that looked very similar. Die casting the largest Cybertruck components, such as the rear single piece mega casting and the truck's bed, requires the 9,000 ton Giga presses. For the front mega casting, Tesla will probably employ smaller units. Also, according to a recent source, Tesla will use a novel manufacturing technique called hydroforming to stamp the body panels for the exoskeleton. With that being said, it seems that Tesla is already set for the production of the Cybertruck, which only means the release date by the end of the year or early next year will be feasible. New Tesla Cybertruck production prototype revealed. On March 1, Tesla's investors were given the opportunity to inspect the new Tesla Cybertruck, and this production prototype resembles the 2019 concept car quite a bit. Photos of this innovative new vehicle have been posted all over Twitter by users, including Franz von Holzhausen, chief designer of Tesla. Front-on views reveal that it shares the concept's stubby nose, full-width light bar, and enormous single windscreen wiper. Stainless steel plates that are flat and unpainted still make up the Cybertruck. By making things simpler to produce, this reduces production costs. A few new triangular mirrors that weren't in the concept have also been included. A similarly simple design can be seen when you look at the back. The tailgate is completely flat, and the tail lights are all enclosed within a single light bar. It has also been observed testing a brand new motorized tonneau cover for the bed. As you would anticipate from a Tesla, the inside is fine. Not much else is present besides the enormous screen in the center. As with the Model S and Model X, the Cybertruck steering wheel is square and has two spokes. Numerous people who saw the Cybertruck were able to record videos for Twitter. The Cybertruck has also been sighted testing frequently in California. Here, you can witness rear wheel steering in action, which turns this enormous pickup truck into a vehicle that can maneuver nearly as well as a Tesla Model Y. Price and release dates for the new Tesla Cybertruck. Elon Musk tweeted about his time driving the prototype and calling it incredible as the new Tesla Cybertruck's development was well underway. The first consumers may be able to purchase a car by Christmas since production is expected to begin by the end of 2023. 
Pre-ordering a Cybertruck costs $100 in the USA, however the American company has taken away the button allowing you to order a new Cybertruck on its UK and EU websites. The price of the Tesla Cybertruck was expected to start at $40,000 for a single motor, two-wheel drive model and more closely approach $70,000 for the dazzlingly rapid tri-motor model. Megawatt charging for the new Tesla Cybertruck Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, announced plans to roll out more megawatt Tesla charging stations during the Tesla semi-delivery ceremony. He stated that the next Cybertruck will be able to use these new chargers as well. These are primarily intended to maintain a fleet of electric semi-HGVs. At the moment, the 250 kilowatt capable Tesla superchargers are the most powerful. With almost four times the power of conventional systems, a megawatt charger would be able to charge devices much more quickly. Tesla Cybertruck's new motors and power. Three electric motors were originally planned for the top-tier Cybertruck. Elon Musk hinted at plans to create a new, four-motor Tesla Cybertruck in December 2021 that would have a crab walk capability similar to the Hummer EV. When traveling off-road, the Hummer EV makes use of its four-wheel steering to enable the truck to move diagonally, as a crab could, in order to avoid stones and huge rocks. Musk added that Tesla's solution would operate, not just like a tank, where the left and right side wheels turn in opposition to one another to instantly spin the truck. This appears to be a barely disguised dig at Rivian, another manufacturer of electric vehicles, which will eventually install a system identical to the one found in the R1T pickup truck. Musk also said that if you had already registered for a single, dual, or triple motor Cybertruck, you would be eligible to upgrade to this new quad motor model. The availability of any of these models after Cybertruck production starts is unclear, though. After all, Tesla famously cancelled all orders for the Plaid Plus model shortly after Plaid production had begun, with Elon Musk announcing that Plaid Plus is cancelled. Plaid is already excellent, therefore there's no need. According to Tesla, it will take less than 3 seconds for the all-wheel drive, three-motor Cybertruck to reach 62 mph. The identical sprint can be completed in under 4.5 seconds by a dual-motor all-wheel drive model, whereas it takes 6.5 seconds for a single-motor rear-wheel drive model to reach 62 mph. Tesla Cybertruck Range and Batteries According to Tesla, the 500-mile range of the three-motor Cybertruck is manageable. While the entry-level rear-drive Cybertruck is only capable of 250 miles between electrical rechargers, the mid-spec dual-motor model is capable of 300 miles. Interior and Utility of Tesla Cybertruck A striking resemblance exists between the concept and the cabin of the Cybertruck prototype. It features a simple style, as you've probably come to expect from the name, but the yoke steering wheel hasn't been kept. 2,830 liters of lockable cargo space, according to Tesla, are available in the Cybertruck. Along with the frunk and additional storage beneath the side windows, the load bed, which Tesla refers to as the vault, is included in this. Due to the integration of 120 volt and 240 volt power points, the Cybertruck now functions as a transportable compact power station. A built-in air compressor is another feature. The Cybertruck is anticipated to be among the toughest and most efficient pickup trucks available. Thousands of potential buyers have expressed interest in it despite its divisive form, demonstrating the public's openness to adopting a fundamentally novel idea in the rather traditional vehicle sector. Can't wait for the new Tesla Cybertruck? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.